Welcome to another episode of Crosswalk where we delve into the profound truth encapsulated in the foolish message of the cross as articulated in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 80. Have you ever questioned the significance of preaching? Have you, like me, experienced moments of doubt or uncertainty about the impact of sharing the gospel message? It's natural to grab with these questions to wonder why we engage in what may seem like a futile endeavor to some. Yet, when faced with such doubts, I find solace and clarity in revisiting the words of Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 to 31. In these verses, Paul unpacks the apparent foolishness of the message of the cross, contrasting it with the world's standards of wisdom and utility. In the light of apparent foolishness of preaching and the message of the cross, why do we persist in this endeavor? Why do we continue to proclaim Christ crucified, knowing that it may be deemed foolish by the world? We persist in sharing this seemingly foolish message because, as Paul declares, the message of the cross, though deemed foolish by the world, is the very power and wisdom of God. In a society obsessed with utility and entertainment, the message of the cross may appear irrelevant and unappealing. It offers no quick fixes, no self-help strategies for success or happiness. It stands in stark contrast to the prevailing wisdom of the age. But the foolishness of the cross lies not in its lack of utility or entertainment value, but in its profound simplicity and transformative power. The cross challenges our notions of success and self-sufficiency, reminding us of our desperate need for redemption and grace. The message of the cross, Paul asserts, is the power of God. It shatters the grip of sin and death, offering salvation to all who believe. In a world marked by brokenness and despair, the cross stands as a symbol of hope and restoration. It is the ultimate expression of God's love and mercy, triumphing over the forces of darkness and offering new light to all who embrace it. Moreover, the message of the cross is not merely powerful but also wise. In a world that values human intellect and achievement, the cross reveals the limitations of human wisdom. It challenges our reliance on human understanding and calls us to humble ourselves before the wisdom of God. As Martin Luther aptly remarked, all of our clever wisdom and reason can well serve to make mad saints and wild Christians. The wisdom of the cross transcends human wisdom, inviting us to embrace the simplicity of faith and trust in God's redemptive work. As we conclude, I encourage you to take up the challenge to reflect on the significance of the message of the cross in your own life. Consider how it has transformed your understanding of power, wisdom and salvation. How can you share this message with others despite the world's perception of its foolishness? Let us close this episode with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the profound truth encapsulated in the message of the cross. Help us to embrace its apparent foolishness and to trust in its transformative power and wisdom. May we boldly proclaim Christ crucified, knowing that in this message lies the hope and salvation of the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this episode of Crosswalk. May we continue to proclaim the foolish message of the cross with confidence and conviction, trusting in its power to bring about lasting change in the lives of all who hear it. Until next time, may God's grace and peace be with you always. God bless you.